Well, hey everybody, I'm at my next camp spot. Uh, BLM campground just north of uh, Joshua Tree National Park. Um, as you can see, not much to this campsite. It's a big dry lake bed, basically. There are a few people out here, not too many. Um, like 10 minutes off the main road. So not bad. Another dry camp for us. Um, we're gonna stay here two nights and then move on to Yuma, Arizona where we've got a campground we're going to. Um, that way we got full hookup so we can do some laundry, stuff like that. We'll be there a couple weeks. I also wanna get a little bit of work done on the motorhome, electrical. Stuff I don't want to mess with, of course. Um, quite the day here to get here. Um, I drove six and a half hours from Death Valley to here. Uh, stopped in Vegas and got some gas. And yeah, then right back into California we went. But been fun. Definitely an interesting area. You can pretty much park anywhere you want out here. As you can see, most everybody's spread out pretty good. Not a bad view. Um, there's a small town that way. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with the sun, but and we'll have to go to town probably tomorrow, or at least put some gas in the Jeep. Our run through Death Valley kind of drained our tank. And when we stopped for diesel for the rig, of course, they didn't have regular gasoline, so we never filled the Jeep up. So we'll fill it, probably put in half a tank. Heck, I might even fill it, who knows. Um, and tomorrow I think we're gonna go around, check this little town out, go into Joshua Tree, and maybe even run over to 29 Palms. I think they got a Walmart. Somebody's got a Walmart nearby, so we're gonna hit the Walmart, get some uh, supplies. And overall, rig's been handling great. Um, I actually pulled in here and parked, and it was level, so I didn't even have to do anything with that. I may lower it. And we'll see. Just easy not to mess with it. But um, from reading about this area, there's a lot of off-roading opportunities. Um, I can see from here a lot of trails going up and over almost all these hills. So that'll be interesting. I don't know if we'll do any of that. You know, I don't really want to take the bike off the back for just a day or day of running around. That and I, I'd actually have to unload the Jeep, which has got my bike in it, a bunch of bins. I do have enough room in here that I can kick stuff around, still get the dogs in. You can see my bike's over in the corner there. But yeah, we'll rearrange it, get the dogs in there so we can go running around. And for today, we're just gonna sit, enjoy the night. I am pointed north or west, um, so during the heat of the day, we're in the shade of the motorhome. I uh, can't exactly put the awning out out here in the wind and tear that up. But I figured I'd show you my campsite. Not much to it, that's for sure. It's a desert camp. Um, this first time we've actually camped where there's hardly any plants at all. A dog come out of the motorhome and yeah he went and found a rock and that's what he peed on which was kind of funny he ran around the rig and it's like oh there's no trees no bushes no nothing he figured it out but hey thanks for watching